I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to When You Hold a Mirror Up to a Mirror by Daniel Thrasher. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician, which is why I react exclusively to comedy music, because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means to you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not laughing over or talking over the jokes and missing them. This way I can talk about how the lyrics and the video work in tandem to help emphasize and enhance the jokes. Sometimes I'm even explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're gonna get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, that's right, I'm a comedy musician, and all sorts of other cool things like that. But anyway, all of that out of the way, before we dive into the video, I do want to take a moment to talk to you about something new coming out that I'm really excited about. Uh, coming out in July is a brand new book about comedy music, and it's called Taking Funny Music Seriously. It's written by Lily Hirsch, who previously has written about comedy music in the book Weird Al Seriously, specifically talking about Weird Al. Um, but this book talks about uh, the history of comedy music, the different styles of comedy music, uh, how comedy music has uh, been treated over the years and why it is much more than just simply a novelty. Uh, you can order this book now. It comes out in July. Link is in my description box below. Uh, they quote a lot of uh, really interesting and influential people in comedy music, such as uh, Tom Lehrer, uh, Peter Sheckle, who is also known as PDQ Bach, who sadly passed recently, uh, Kate Micucci and Ricky Lindholm from uh, uh, Garfunkel and Oates, and a certain comedy musician who does a reaction show weekly is also quoted in this book. That's right, Insane Ian is quoted in a comedy music textbook. That's right, this is a textbook. This is not just a book. This is being sold by uh, the Indiana University Press. Uh, so this is something I, I think uh, if you enjoy comedy music, you definitely would want to check this out. Link is in the description box below uh, to get it directly from Indiana University Press. You can also find it on your standard book retailers like Amazon or Barnes & Noble, but I highly recommend this book, and not just because I'm in it, but because this is an amazing resource about comedy music if you have any uh, inclination into learning about the history of uh, one of my favorite things in the world. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let's dive in to the video this week. Now I know, <laughs> before I hit play, yes, I'm stopping myself before starting, uh, that this has a sketch kind of surrounding the song. I've been uh, prompted on that before, but this is a five-minute video, which, for me, which means I'm probably going to extend it to, I don't know, an hour and a half, the way I talk, whatever. Um, but I know that there's a sketch before we get to the song. I do kind of enjoy the the idea of staring into the infinite reflectiveness of a mirror against a mirror, just it reflecting itself back onto itself. It's trippy. It's always that thing of when you look into a mirror and you like you move around it and it can still see the, th the parts of the room that you aren't directly in front of it. It blows people's minds. I know my mind is always kind of fractured looking, which is kind of funny since mirrors can fracture, uh, to look at something like that and experience that. Weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's the, the repeating image and then the last image is Daniel talking to himself. That's great. Was it something I said? No? Then pick me up, you goober. We have much to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Sorry about that. That's ah, fine. First impressions are hard. I just didn't think. It's fine. Totally, totally fine. Great. Let me just do the. Greetings, Daniel. My name is Leonard. Okay. Leonid, because it's the mirror image of Daniel. That's. I've been wanting to do a video, a short lately, uh, about palindromes. Um, because I love palindromes. Uh, palindromes are words that you know, are spelled the same way forwards as they are backwards, like race car or, uh, you know, there's one in Bob, a Weird Al song that's my favorite, called Lisa Bonet Ain't No Basil, which, spell it frontwards and backwards, it's the same thing. But there is another phenomenon where if you spell a word backwards, it spells a completely different word. Like the word stressed. If you spell stressed backwards, it spells desserts. And those aren't palindromes, those are... And I... <laughs> this is so goofy. In Lordomana. No, I can't... That's not right. Palindrome Emord Nilarap. It's palindrome backwards. So the word palindrome is an immortal app. Immord nil app. Because it's spelled a different word frontwards, forward than it does backwards. It, the English language is so stupid. Uh, also, here's the real kicker. People who have a fear of palindromes, a fear of words that are spelled forwards, and backwards the same. It's called abiophobia. Abiophobia is a palindrome. That's just mean to call your fear of palindromes a palindrome. But anyway, uh, Daniel's name, Leonid, is now an immortal lap. I'm going to mispronounce saying that every time. I'll get it right. I may either use this in a short or just f film a new short. But anyway, <laughs> sometimes I just go on tangents. That's fine. That's your name backwards. I'm just like you, but I'm different. Because <laughs> he just said, that's your name backwards. Yeah, okay. I'm stuck in a mirror. Yeah, I can see that. Do you need help getting out? Are you kidding me? I love it here. We have breakfast for dinner. We, we have dinner for breakfast. Also, we're cannibals. What'd you say? I said, I love it here. Look, let's just take a step back. <laughs> also, we're cannibals. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Man, I squeaked. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. We are experiencing. Let's take a step back. Called a mirror meet. Okay, we can only communicate with each other once in our entire lifespan. Do you understand? I think so. So, with that said, I need to tell you a couple things. What kind of things? Well, for starters, I should let you know that I've been watching you for years, Daniel, since you were a little boy. What do you mean? Every mirror you've ever looked at, every reflection, every replication of yourself, I have been watching. Every single time you've ever held your own gaze, you are also holding mine. I mean, sure, the mirror reflection could be just an alternate universe where another version of you is watching you. They're just living out their lives exactly the same as a mirror image of yours. Science fiction. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be. It means you're not merely a me. You never have been. You've only ever been a we. Okay, so you like watch me in the bathroom and stuff? Yes, Daniel, don't you see? <laughs> hmm, perhaps this will make more sense in the song. Oh, God, please don't know me. <laughs> one of my favorite tropes, one of my favorite tropes of, of comedy music and, and presenting comedy music, because a lot of people... Uh, wrongly think that comedy music's only purpose is to uh, tell jokes but just in song. And 
that's not its only purpose, but that is definitely one of the many uses of comedy music. Um, people who use it only as a vessel to tell jokes and not actually use it as this is also just a song, too, you know, putting actual music craft into it and just, like, instead are just, like, playing chords behind what is basically stand-up. Um, not the same thing. Um, but, you know, the, the trope of, let me tell you in song, which, you know, is used from everything from YouTube videos to sometimes Broadway shows to point out the ridiculous of suddenly bursting into song on a topic that's weird. Um, I love that idea. I've always loved that idea. It's very meta, and as many time, long-time viewers of this knows, I like meta humor, so. We liked musicals. Hello. Uh, I have to go back to <laughs> what he said there, because that kind of was a little bit about musicals there, so. In the song. Oh, God, please don't know me likes musicals. <laughs> Hello, my name is Leonard. I'm pleased to be a mirror man. I've been reflecting on the so while. Okay. <laughs> Nobody likes musicals. Not entirely true. There are some people who love musicals. I was raised in theater, so I'm a theater nerd. Uh, we know many people who like musicals. Many of the viewers of this like mu musicals. Um, I've been reflecting on this a while. Not just, you know, because you're a mirror, the mirror is the reflection of what you see, but also reflecting, meaning thinking back, reflecting on what has come before. I've been reflecting on this, thinking back on this before. Uh, just, it's such a simple line, but it works so well, like, you know, it's something you would expect to hear in a song about mirror things, but yes, it, it's perfect. It's a perfect setup for your concept. Some things to know about us, we die, and then we're born, thus we cry, whenever old babies smile. <laughs> the idea of... The lifetime being backwards is an interesting take on it, though, because mirrors are just what you see reversed. But it, you don't see, like, when you walk up to a mirror, you don't see somebody walking away from a mirror. So, so it's not exactly the, you know, the opposite reaction. So the whole breakfast for dinner, dinner for breakfast thing, and... You know, we cry when we see old babies smile because they, 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 they start at death and go to birth. It's obviously, they're enhancing it for comedic effect. Uh, <laughs> I'm, that is, this is the over-explanation simplification of things, but uh, I, 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 I still find it, uh, <laughs> it's, it as an interesting concept, an interesting take on what a mirror world would be. Um, I mean, Star Trek did Mirror Mirror, where they had the Mirror Universe versions of, of the Enterprise crew, or, or, you know, whatever other crew happened when they did another Mirror Universe episode. Spock had a goatee, you know, that made him evil. Uh, <laughs> which is, you know, hilarious. But, uh, you know, the, everything's the same except, you know, they're the opposite of them, the mirror of them. You know, the mirrors are not always opposites, it's just a reflection. Uh, sometimes it's a reflection on you. Ooh. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore, but as a comedic concept, uh, it, it's an interesting interpretation to go beyond just what most people know about mirrors. Old babies. You heard me. Look, I, I, I'm not quite sure I'm following. Have you ever heard of fractals, Daniel? No. Like galaxies and lightning, rivers ever winding <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at the lyrics, I'm laughing at the old baby in the background. <laughs> they put a beard on a baby, and it was gray, and it, it just looked really funny. Um... <laughs> it's just just a happy old baby. Like I think they even gave it a little bit of crow's feet by the eyes and a little little bit of, of, of brow wrinklage there to make it look a little older. So it is a literal old baby. Whoever did that image, whoever worked the Photoshop or whatever, 
the in image enhancement on that particular image, bravo. That is, it's a quality gag, it is just in the background. Uh, the lyrics aren't a focus on it, but it is something very, very funny featured in the video. I, I love that. That's so good. <laughs> It's almost like a multiverse theory. You know, being able to see into the alternate version of you through a mirror. And uh, Doctor Strange even does the mirror dimension where everything is flipped and he can manipulate it and so you get these mirror images of, of buildings, com you know, repeating over each other like Inception. And just you know, you ever forget to pay your, your mouth bill? Yeah, uh, with the, all the infinite repeating things and being able to manipulate that universe—that's one of Doctor Strange's powers in the MCU, anyway. Uh, and and that leading into like multiversal planes and multiversal planes and different dimensions and things like that is an interesting theory to put on. Like, hey, you can look into a mirror and see that other dimension. It's weird, man. It is weird. <laughs> I love, I love when videos have that moment of, yes, we have this big production and you hear the music um, out in, you know, in full volume and then it cuts to a shot where the music is clearly coming through something like a radio or a speaker in the world and one of the people in the video is just reacting to hearing it i think it's called uh diegetic music i said didactic once i think i forget which one it is i'm going to i'm going to look it up i'm going to i'm going to look it up uh diegetic uh, yeah, diegetic is what it is, it's of sound in a movie, television program, occurring within the context of the story, and able to be heard by the characters. So yes, you're clearly watching a music video, but it cuts to a shot where the person in the video is also watching this music video or hearing the song. Uh, diegetic music. Uh, they do. It's a trope in movies sometimes, and, and having it in a comedy music video also kind of is, is more meta on top of meta. Especially here. <laughs> the images are of, of Leonid dancing behind him, but also getting the images of him holding the mirror behind him holding the mirror. Really, really good, kind of like to, to keep that world building going. His face on the planets, that's good too. <laughs> Take it back a minute here, just because that's just a, a funny image. Yeah, all the repeating, like, singers, but also the ones watching repeating, too. It's so good. It's... <sighs> you dream your way, there's never a mistake. You're one with all of space and time. <laughs> Face on the planet, it's good, it's so good. There is something so funny to me about the idea of a very funny song getting very serious for a moment. Um, you know, where, where you have a tone shave, you have a shift in music where the, the theme drops down and you get this like musical bridge interlude where the, the tone changes, not just in the ideas of the song, but also in the music itself, the tone changes. Uh, it's, it's a tonal shift. Um, you know, where you have this kind of, kind of like a little pop song and then it turns into like a ballad in the middle and then goes back into the pop song. Um, that's the tonal shift I meant. But like to have like this like semi-serious moment of like, yes, you know, we've watched you your whole life. And then you, you of course, bookend it, you cap it off, you put the button on it 
of it being a jokey, especially when you poop. Uh, there's something so, you know, funny about, like, taking this funny concept seriously, and then, oh no, wait, we forgot to let, let you know, this is still a joke. Uh, I enjoy that. Uh, there's, <laughs> is, there's, there's artists who do it well, and there's artists who don't do it well, and this one was a, a, a case of it being done well, because it, you know, it kind of leads you into that false sense of, wait, I'm kind of buying into this concept of the mirror world and this different universe, this different dimension of everything repeating and being watched and what's going on and is this serious? And, oh, wait, no, there's a poop joke. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I dig that. Wait. Is this thing not recording anymore? Okay, we're back. Uh, <laughs> part of what I was uh, reacting to didn't get recorded, so the video on that part you just watched of the reaction portion uh, may have looked a little weird. Sorry, uh, that's because my recording thing just shut off, and I didn't notice until I was done that section. Luckily, it wasn't a huge part, um, but I did rewind a little bit, so that's going to look weird. Um, anyway, continuing on. You watch me poop? We watch you do everything, Daniel. <laughs> because we are you. And you are us. How? Life is like a spool of film that plays into infinity. Your existence is one of many frames in a cosmic web. It's an interesting theory. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's just a theory. But the effect of the spool of film with the repeating image rolling by was a nice effect. I don't get it. But just sing, man. <laughs> I thought he was wearing a hoodie this entire time. He's just basically wearing a a blanket. <laughs> He's just flapping. A, I thought it was a hoodie, and no, it's just all right. It's just a sheet. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Just the uh, the idea of it. Doesn't it feel nice knowing you're not all by yourself anymore? Uh, sure, yeah, if that's what this song means. It is! That's cool, because up until now, I've been very confused. Well, <laughs> I get it! The lyrics just feel a little convoluted. Okay, question. Do you mirror people have mirrors in your world, and then when you look in a mirror, you see Mirror Man, or do you see me? Ooh, also, when you poop, does it still come out, or does it go in? Goodbye, Daniel. <laughs> Um, all, all worthy questions, but also, uh, avoiding answering them by throwing a smoke bomb. We need more of this. Uh, something I've wanted to do in my real life, uh, many times. How do I get out of this conversation? Smoke bomb! And just escape. That's very Batman of you. <laughs> Daniel putting his face on things just is always inherently funny. The, the the green screening of a face onto a planet, like earlier in the video, or to put it on the gong at the end and hitting the gong to have that shatter the mirror of uh, the mirror world. Uh, so good. So funny. Uh, we are going to skip the sketch after the sketch because it is a... Um, it is usually an ad, but also because it's not the song anymore, and that's really what we're reacting to is the song. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I really did. Uh, that was very funny. Thank you to the people who uh, recommended it to me. I've reacted to Daniel Thrasher before, um, but also Daniel Thrasher is a Logan Award winner. Last year won for uh, when uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda orders a pizza. Uh... But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. The Logan Awards are coming up right in July, so you get your nominations in over there. Uh, go ahead and check out the book Taking Funny Music Seriously, link in the description, and uh, all sorts of other good things. If you like this video, please like it, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out like these folks over here do... Uh, you can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get to have, see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, name in the credits, all sorts of other good things. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Julie.
at the station says they'll be here any minute now But she's running out of records and her show is ending anyhow